Hi, this module is about how to install web scripts. First off, what is a web script? It is software that has been written in a programming language that will accomplish something online. Usually, uh, it's software like blogging software or uh, software to manage content or to... Usually, it does something that requires something more than uh, static web pages. So it is, it's, it's a script that will uh, interact using programming code to interact with a database or to accept people's form submissions on a web page. So let me tell you a little bit what this scripts are not. HTML is what drives the internet. It is what makes a page look like it is. HTML is not programming. It is not a script. Programming scripts are usually written in in uh, languages like PHP or Perl or Ruby or JavaScript sometimes. So when you are to install a script, let me tell you a couple of suggestions. Number one, try and always install a PHP script. If you're told to find a script, try and find one that's done in PHP. It's much, much easier to deal with than Perl or Ruby. Uh, JavaScript is usually pretty good too. But if you can find PHP scripts, those will almost always be better. So then, Let's talk about some typical parts of installing a script. Number one, you download the script. Usually you're going to download a zip file. Occasionally you'll download a tar file or something that's .tar or .tar.gz. You have to unzip these also. It's still zipped even though it's not a .zip. So a zip file you is what you'll usually download the script in. You'll download it from some website wherever you find it or wherever uh, someone else found it and told you to download it. You'll need to unzip that. Uh, to unzip it, usually in in Windows, there's already an unzip thing. When you click on the zip file, there's an option to unzip it. Then there's the web server. You're going to have to upload it to the server, to a directory on the server. Usually, you're going to upload it to the directory, a directory on a particular domain. And you upload it using FTP. Now, there's FTP clients, and, and there should be an FTP tutorial included with this. Next, there's the database, usually. Almost all scripts will interact with a database on the back end. So you're going to have to connect that script with the database. You're also going to have to set up the database. Neither of those are difficult. There are tutorials included in this on how to do that. Very often, there's a config file or a configuration file. And that is something you're going to have to modify. The config file is usually how you hook up the script with the database. So uh, you've uploaded the script to the server. You've set up the database. Next, you modify the config file to tell the script where the database is and how to interact with it. Then usually after you've done all those things, there's a, usually a setup process. You'll click on a couple web pages and you'll enter some values. Uh, every script is different in that respect, but I'm going to show you how to do this for one thing. So uh, most scripts that you find will have instructions on how to set them up. Uh, usually the instructions aren't super detailed, like they won't show you exactly how to set up a database, but there's instructions here on how to do that. Uh, also, there should be instructions here detailed on how you go through each of these steps pretty well. Now, also, I could I could go through everything here detailed exactly, but other people have already done that. So, inside this tutorial, I am including links to other tutorials that show you how to how to install scripts. Now, usually they're pretty specific, but most scripts are almost exactly the same. You download the script, you unzip it, you upload it to a web server. You set up a database, you modify a configuration file, you upload the configuration file or the config file, then you go to some URL which is specific to every script, and that will set you, take you through the setup steps online. So, uh, I would highly recommend you use WordPress as your example. It is a very easy installation, and yet it goes through all the steps that almost all scripts will go through, and it's very reliable. So, the, that being said, Please go through this tutorial on how to install web scripts.